Hi, I am Dr. Rahul Verma. I am the Director of Pediatric Sciences at Sir H. N. Reliance Foundation Hospital, Mumbai. Uh, on World Immunization Week, I thought I should talk a bit about the routine immunizations and maybe some special immunizations for children right up to the age of adolescence. If we look at the immunization chart, and as most of us follow the charts guided by Indian Academy of Pediatrics, we find that there are many vaccines which are concentrated in the first year of life. So we start with at birth and end up by one year of age. At birth, we like to give oral polio, BCG and hepatitis B because these are the very, very important ones and protection should begin from as early as possible after birth. Subsequent vaccines come in at 6 weeks, 10 to 14 weeks and 14 to 18 weeks. So these are the vaccines which include polio, which could be oral or injectable. Uh, the triple, which is very important, diphtheria, pertussis and tetanus, hepatitis B and the H influenza B. Along with this, we would like to recommend at least giving pneumococcal vaccine and rotaviral vaccine. So usually we get combination vaccines in this and we hope to give all of these together to reduce the number of injections per uh, session. We also need to understand that a minimum gap of at least four weeks and a maximum gap of at least eight weeks between these doses. So these doses are repeated three times, after which we uh, usually recommend giving the flu vaccine. As we know, after COVID times, flu has become a very important aspect because it mimics COVID. So it's better to protect our children against flu so we usually give two doses of flu vaccines roughly a month apart at six and seven months of age. At nine months comes another set of vaccines, which is the MMR, which is the mumps, measles and the rubella vaccine along with the typhoid vaccine. So the MMR vaccine or uh, in the government, it is called the MR vaccine. The mumps vaccine is not included, but in the private setup, we always include the three. So the mumps, measles and the German measles, that is the rubella vaccine, are very important because they are not only useful in childhood but also in women later on to prevent these intrauterine infections. Typhoid is the next vaccine which is usually given at nine months. So this somehow consolidates most of the vaccines within the first year of life. 